that Good Friday and Easter Sunday weekend is a three-day celebration that is uniquely Bermudian. It's a holiday steeped in distinctive traditions. Cutfish cakes on hot cross buns, homemade kites, gumbays, marbles, and sunrise services on the water's edge. Hi, I'm Lee Stubble, and I'd like to introduce you to a truly special Bermudian holiday. Join me as we explore a few of the things that make Good Friday Easter weekend a Bermudian favorite. The making and flying of Bermuda kites over the Easter weekend is a tradition that is said to have begun with a teacher trying to demonstrate the ascension of Jesus to heaven after the crucifixion. Bermuda kites are distinctive in both their structural and graphic design. Each year a kite flying festival is held at the Horseshoe Bay Beach. Food, music and festivities are enjoyed by locals and visitors alike. And as the afternoon rolls on, kites fill the air. While more and more stoolboard kites are being flown by both visitors and locals, the focus here is on the homemade kites as prizes are awarded for the largest, smallest and most beautiful kites. Rhythmic drums signal the arrival of a Bermuda Gumbay troop to Horseshoe Bay. The evolution of the Gumbays in Bermuda was influenced by African and Native American cultures. Look closely and you'll also see the impact of organizations as diverse as the Mummers and the British military bands. In addition to Good Friday, Bermuda's Gumbay troops also perform on Christmas and Boxing Day in communities throughout the island. They appear in the 24th of May parade, at Harbor Nights, and on other special occasions. Codfish cakes and hot cross buns are enjoyed year-round in Bermuda, most often eaten separately. But on Good Friday, they are served together as a delicious sandwich. Beatrice Ferris and friends show us how it's done. The reason why I make so many cut, um, hot cross buns and cutfish cakes is because um, I make it for my children, I make it for my sister, and I also um, I make it for myself, of course. And tomorrow morning, which is Good Friday morning, um, my children come over and we have hot cross buns and cutfish cakes for breakfast and lunch. It's kind of like a, a, a all-together kind of thing because some of them come early and some of them come a bit later. And in the old days, the kids used to fly their kites and um, uh, it was kind of like a Good Friday party. And that tradition has been going on ever since I can remember. <laughs> Playing marbles is another Good Friday tradition. Here, the Harris and Richardson families show us how it's done. After a day spent resting and recuperating from Good Friday festivities, Easter Sunday begins early for many of the island's churches. Sunrise services are popular across the island and many are held in scenic spots overlooking the ocean. Of course, those who require or desire a later start will also find Easter Sunday services taking place at the more traditional starting times. It's the perfect conclusion to a weekend that is full of long-standing traditions and firmly held beliefs. So, if you're visiting Bermuda over the Good Friday Easter weekend, come out and join the festivities. You'll be sure to enjoy yourself. <laughs>